you're looking for a new off-road ride, you'll be glad to hear there's no shortage of exciting technology coming to the mountain bike market. Here's a look at five of the most interesting mountain bikes for 2016. The Patrol Carbon is Transition's first carbon mountain bike. Aside from the frame material, the Patrol Carbon shares a lot with its aluminum sibling, including geometry and suspension travel. The Patrol uses a horse leak suspension design that serves up 155 millimeters of rear suspension. Up front, the Patrol is designed around 160 millimeters suspension fork. Clean internal routing and enduro inspired geometry make this a bike to watch. Yeti Cycles SB5 and SB6 are two of the best mountain bikes we've ridden. The clever Switch Infinity suspension design, with its twin tubes, is stiff under pedaling and plush when it needs to be. Yeti now has a Switch Infinity equipped 29er in its line. The new SB 4.5C is a short travel trail bike with aggressive geometry. The new bike has 114 millimeters of rear suspension travel and is designed around 130 to 140 millimeter suspension forks. The carbon frame is incredibly clean and has gobs of standover clearance. Yeti claims this new 29er is actually the stiffest bike the company has ever produced. Evil Bikes is hoping to follow up on the smashing success of its 29er trail bike, the following, with a new Enduro model called the Insurgent. The Insurgent uses Dave Weigel's Delta suspension design to provide 150 millimeters of rear suspension travel. The carbon frame is one by specific. The Insurgent has partial internal routing and a clever integrated chain guide. Like the following, the Insurgent has adjustable geometry, allowing this already low and slack bike to get even lower and more raked out, approaching downhill territory. Spanish brand Mondraker recently developed a carbon version of the Dune. This all-mountain bike uses Mondraker's radical forward geometry, which lengthens the front center while reducing stem length to the absolute minimum. The recommended stem length for the Dune is between 10 and 30 millimeters. Talk about stubby stems. The Dune Carbon has 160 millimeters suspension and adjustable geometry. Riders can tweak the head angle by one degree and the chainstay length by one centimeter to fine tune the Dune's handling for particular enduro courses. While we've talked a lot about full suspension rigs, there's a great deal of tech going into hardtails these days. Advancements in carbon fiber technology have allowed designers to do some pretty incredible things with mountain bikes, including engineer flex into the frames. The new BMC Team Elite is a new take on the soft tail suspension concept. The Team Elite uses a rubberized material at the top of the seat stays to take the edge off impacts. The design provides just 15 millimeters of suspension with a minimal weight gain over standard hardtail designs. It's not quite a full suspension, but provides just enough give during hard cross-country racing. <laughs>